this video is for someone that just needs a word today, needs some encouragement and needs some lifting, this is for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. You know what you have to do. If you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed, I need you to take a moment and do that right now. Thank you guys for joining me today. As you guys know or could see from the topic, we're gonna talk about accountability and just feelings of discouragement or when you need motivation. Um, basically, I talk about the importance of having accountability and having people in your life that can really uplift you and motivate you, especially in moments where you feel discouraged. Um, I had a situation like that recently and I basically just spoke to one of the people in my life who is just a really great accountability partner, who's really uplifting, really motivating. Just basically that day I just felt really discouraged and I just felt a bit overwhelmed with everything that's just going on in life and the world and everything. And they just really laid a word on me and they were just gracious, gracious enough to allow me to actually share um, clips of that or just that moment in general. But I just want to talk to you, that is what we are here to do. I mean, I know a lot of people unfortunately don't have that in their world where they have friends or just people that can be, can speak life into you and just motivate you and just uplift you. And that's what we want to do here at this channel. So I said, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to get your daily dose of motivation, inspiration, and just, um, just lifestyle information basically. Um, so again, I wanted to share this with you. If you are someone that just needs a word of encouragement in this season, in this time, you're gonna wanna make sure you stay tuned uh, just for this word because when I heard it, I was like, nah, people need, need to hear stuff like this and they need people in their lives that can lift them up and motivate them and just speak words of encouragement and life over them. So again, guys, stay tuned and I just want you to take a glimpse of this moment, just moments like this that I continuously have with people in my circle, the people that are in my close circle, and I'm so blessed for that. And again, I want to be there for you. So again, we have resources and you know where to get in touch with me. I'm at Spiritually Faithful. I'm gonna put it somewhere here below on the screen, or I should say, or below. But again, make sure you follow us on Instagram and you just continue with us on this journey here at YouTube and we would love your support. Guys, I'm rooting for you and today's gonna be an amazing day for you wherever you are, whatever it is that you're doing. Never give up on yourself, never give up on God and just continue pushing through because all things work for those who love the Lord. So guys, stay tuned, thanks, bye. Thank you so much for just like sharing this. I know the other day I just felt really discouraged and I just felt a little bit overwhelmed and I said to you, I was like, you know, why is it that you know, as Christians or just we try to do the right thing and we try to, to, you know, follow the way of what we're supposed to do. And sometimes things are going the way that you want it to, or just sometimes bad things happen. And it's just like, you know, it gets draining sometimes. And it's like, I just loved what you said to me. And I wanted you to share that with people just so that it would give people a word of encouragement, just to never give up and just to continue to, to believe and to keep holding on. Well, the reason why when you try to do stuff on this earth, it seems that there's always some kind of force against you and you can't really understand it. It's because everything's all pretty much biblical. And you have to remember when Satan or Lucifer, when he committed sin and God cast them out of heaven along with all the fallen angels, God banned them to earth and if you can remember there was about three-fourths of the angels got banned along with lucifer and came down to earth so this earth here is like where they're dwelling and god created human beings to be here on earth so even though you can't really see it with your physical eyes Everything is all in the spiritual realm. And that's why you have, you go places, you know, whether it be um, restaurants or just wherever you go, you feel different vibes. You know, you, you kind of feel that like, like something's not right. You know, the atmosphere is not right. Right. And that's usually because, you know what, there is some kind of like, you know, demon or some kind of like just not a good spirit around that area. Right. But. You have to understand they're everywhere. You know, this is basically Lucifer's dominion. And you have to understand, as a children of God, 
when you try to do something, Lucifer's goal is to pretty much hinder you and stop you because he knows that you, you as a children of God, have God w within you. And if you ever learn how to access that, you become very, very powerful and even more dangerous to him. So what he does is that he tries to get you to trip yourself up. Now remember, he can't touch you because God forbids him to touch you. As powerful as he is, he cannot come and touch you. But what he does is he works with lies, deceit, steals, and he pretty much messes with your mind. He starts almost sending stuff, thoughts to your mind. And in so, you pretty much believe it. And once you believe it, you start to act on it. So it's almost like you're acting on lies. You're acting on fears. You're acting on doubt. You're acting on worries. And in you doing that, you shoot yourself in your own foot. And that's how the devil gets you. He can't touch you. So you have to understand that every time you step out of your house, you have forces against you. Because the devil knows that you have greatness in you. But if you ever realize that, you become very, very dangerous to him. So his goal is to throw doubt at you, throw fear, throw, you know, anything he could grab, lies, deceit, you know, all the, all the worries of the world, your debts, you know, your health, whatever, to make you forget that, hey, you are a son of God and like you have God within and you could heal. You know, you could cast things out. You could speak your word. Your word, the, the, your mouth, your tongue is very, very powerful. And if you ever learn how to utilize it, you become very, very dangerous to him. So when you step outside, you have to understand that, listen, every single day is a battle. Every single day is a fight. And you have to fight the good fight. And the way you fight is with the word of God. The way you fight is that you remember exactly what God said about you and what God has for you. And you use the words as a weapon. So you always have to be an alert. So if you walk in faith, then you know what? You know exactly what to do. Because the word says, you know what? Use the word as a, as a shield, as a, as a knife, as a sword. 